40 million dollars. That's what the federal government has spent here in New Mexico to help fight the coronavirus. And today, Target 7 look through those expenses to find out where exactly the money is going. Stuck on a cruise ship in quarantine for nine days in a small cabin, a nightmare for Cynthia Rizzo. It was it was very harsh conditions. I wouldn't want anybody to go through that. And once the ship docked, she had no idea how she was going to get home. We would have taken anything, a, a Greyhound bus at that point, but no state would let us drive through it. But the federal government did come through, paying for a private jet for them and several other New Mexicans stuck on the Grand Princess. It was amazing. It was very lush, very comfortable. The total bill was about $2.6 I was shocked, and then I told my husband, and he just had this dumbfounded look in his face like, wow. While this plane ride was one of the most expensive items, it's only a fraction of the $40 million the federal government has spent so far in New Mexico. It's quite uh, astonishing just how much has flown into New Mexico from the COVID-19 epidemic. Per capita, the feds have spent more money in New Mexico than all neighboring states except Utah, funding things like 3.5 million for medical supplies for the Navajo Nation and $6.3 million for Army hospitals in Gallup and one in Albuquerque. It's not surprising we're the second highest per capita spending. All guessing of the Rio Grande Foundation says traditionally New Mexico sees more in federal dollars because of its Native American population, military bases and the national labs. New Mexico would be in very dire circumstances if we had to take care of all of this spending on our own with our own tax dollars. The federal government paid a local Albuquerque aviation company to supply those plane rides and more than 60% of the money spent to help New Mexico was through businesses located here. As of today, there are nearly 6,000 active COVID-19 cases and 476 people have died.